Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 Brazil. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're now great power. It, it, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm very happy to see it. So, what are we going to do? We're going to immediately influence every single one of our neighbors. Obviously. Like, why would I do anything else? Bolivia. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll get all of them going. I mean, we're neighbors. We're on the same continent. For the most part, we like each other. Argentina doesn't like us so, so much. I mean, actually, 33? Actually, Paraguay, why do you hate me so much? I'm not too sure, actually, but... Relations, you know, I'll improve relations with uh, Paraguay to make them like me a little bit more so we can get our points here a little bit faster. And we could have an absolutely fantastic economic sphere. I am very... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, this, is, this is a great place for us to be. Got more craftsmen increase, or just upgrade all the factories you possibly can right now. So yep. Yeah, I mean, if we can get all of South America in our sphere, that is really what I'm looking for. Colombia is neutral with everybody. I mean, it also would essentially bring permanent peace and stability to South America. Like, nobody can declare war on one another if they're all protected by good old Brazil. We have 1.5. You know, let's bring you down to the lowest... Just so we can get everybody else just a little bit faster. Bolivia, welcome. Argentina's almost at 50. Looking quite good here. Input efficiency tech. Diplomatic relations, organized factories. Iron Railroad actually I think makes sense for our next technology here. Okay, we'll bring Argentina into Cordial. So if you don't actually know, I guess I guess I should explain a little bit for how uh, Seed of Influences actually work. This is for the people who are on the channel who only really watch the Hoi 4 stuff. Basically, we are going to get uh, two or point two points per day. And then uh, we'll go State Capitalism, which has the best uh, econ economy in the game. So I host the Regional Trade Fair. Yes, we will. We need to increase our opinion twice. Each one is going to cost us 50 influence points. After that, we can add them towards fear, which is extra 100. So we need 200 points per country in order to bring them into our sphere of influence. Uh, when we bring them into our sphere of influence, that basically gives us a permanent ally. Unless they have a revolution, in which case they get kind of kicked out. Um, but it's a permanent ally, and we get first access to all of their natural resources. Which is very, very, very important. Which actually it might make sense for us to try to maybe influence. I don't. I actually don't know who we'd want to influence right now. I mean, all of South America, obviously, uh, because you get a you get a bonus if they're on the same continent as you. Like if we try to influence, you know, let's just say uh, Thailand, we are going to be taking a negative fifty percent just because they're on a different continent than us. Ten prestige. Thank you. Do not. Have another constitutional crisis, okay? I cannot afford it. Okay, Argentina, bring them up to friendly as well. And the more a country likes you, the more uh, the more points you get, or I guess the faster you get them. Okay, Paraguay is almost ready to go. Peru, do you like us? You like us? Colombia likes us. Venezuela likes us. Ecuador likes us. Everyone loves us. We should be getting a ton of points, basically, with everybody. I mean, at this point, I'm just, I'm just going to influence everybody at the same time. No more countries to influence at once, the uh, the worst you will do. Venezuela, cordial with the British, neutral with the United States. Okay, that's not that bad. I'm actually going to put you down to one for now. We don't want to be taking any penalties we don't have to. Colombia, they're neutral with Britain. Britain will probably want to keep some sort of control there. They actually even invested 32,000 pounds. Which is going to give us a negative 50% due to other countries uh, investing in Colombia. I could invest in Colombia as well. Just to get us a better bonus here. 7.5. Paraguay. You know what, Paraguay? You'll just be last. I, I think that is fair. Where is the source of Nile? 30,000 pounds? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see if you can figure out where the source of Nile is. I can tell you, I'm pretty sure it's Lake Victoria over here. 
which is right now called uh, Ukeraway. But they don't know that quite yet. They don't see the entire map like I do. Okay, when's our next election? Our next election is in 1871, so in a few years from now. Yeah, so France is also competing over here. A little bit more tax efficiency is quite nice. We have 40. Bolivia is almost ready to be in our city of influence, which I'm happy to see. The Dutch are at war. Who are they at war with? They're at war with... Why would you want military access through me? I mean, I'll say yes, just because it'll it's in a relationship improvement, and maybe that'll pr uh, prove useful in the future. But it's a weird choice, let me tell you that right now. How's the migration going, by the way? 1600 for us. I mean, again, the United States is getting a little bit more, but that's not a huge surprise. The United States usually gets the most... Uh, uh, most volunteers. Or not volunteers, most immigrants, I should say. So what are you right now? You are a 5-3. I want three more artillery and one cavalry in that army right now. Yeah, so let's get them going. Bolivia, very, very soon you'll be ready to go into our sphere. Colombia is a little mad at us. What's Britain doing? I mean, they're still putting points in here. Argentina, I'm going to put out one. Bolivia will be good with soon. I'm going to actually put all of you down to one right now. Just so we can mostly focus heavily on Colombia. 1.1. Discredited. I'm going to discredit the British while we still can. It costs us some influence to do that. And then I'm going to build the most expensive factory I can. And let's just say a fertilizer factory for now. As well as a machine part factory. That'll bring the penalty down to 26, which is quite nice for us. We're getting 1 point... Or 0.139 right now, which is not bad. Bolivia, add them to our sphere. Fantastic. I'm going to put you down to basically Axis Zero right now, because I don't think anybody else is going to try to influence uh, Bolivia. But now, while on the political map mode, we have a little bit of green right here. If we just go over to the influence map mode, it's looking quite good. It's looking quite good. We got a little, uh, little bonus over here. So Argentina, 59% with you right now. Peru, we're almost ready to give an influence into. Railroad max level's gone up. So military plans for the time being. And let's just throw money at our infrastructure. I think it makes sense for us. I have no money. Money is, you know, it's it can be hard to come by sometimes, you know? Again, if we can get all of South America in our sphere, it'll be quite nice. That's a 40 stack. I... I see. Do I need to bring reinforcements down here? No, it looks like you guys will end up winning this. I'm going to increase military spending for the time being. Give me a little bit of a... Actually, no, we can come in here and fight him right away. We're more than okay on that. Peru? Increase opinion of you. Welcome to Cordial. Colombia, we should be... We're at 30 points of them right now. Argentina, I'm going to put you on maximum so I can get you into my sphere very soon. Yeah, then we can cut our military spending down to 44% once again. You're going... You really got to realize that, like, life is better. Life life is better when you are Brazilian, okay? Don't, don't try any of this independence shenanigans. It's not going to work out well for you. Ecuador, we can get you up to Cordial now as well. The North German Federation has formed. Which is going to make a pretty powerful North German... Which is going to make a really powerful state. Bavaria is in ninth place. They have 198 points. We have 214. They could theoretically... They could theoretically um, overtake us. I'm hoping they don't. For the obvious reason that it would be bad for us. Is there anything I can do against Bavaria? I don't think so. I, unfortunately, I don't really have any uh, any options here. Thank you for the single prestige. I'm very appreciative of it. Get you up to Cordial. You have Jackman Rebels right now in Peru. But I don't care about that too much right now. It's not a, it's not a big concern of mine. 
Okay, Argentina, you're now in my sphere of influence as well. Venezuela will be up to Cordial soon. Colombia and uh, Ecuador just gaining points at a very nice rapid rate. Okay, Paraguay, we can get you up to Cordial. It doesn't matter if they actually hate us, even though they're in like negative 88 relations. We can still get them into our sphere regardless. They don't actually have to like us. Okay, the Ottoman Empire has had the conference, which releases a couple of territories for them. Serbia got a little bit bigger. Uh, Bulgaria and Bosnia and Herzegovina now currently exist, so good for them. Yeah, Argentina, we can have an alliance. It is more than okay for an alliance with you. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just happy with where we're at right now. Argentina, the Americans are actually trying to put influence there. Put one more point. Just so we can maybe fight them. America. You should not. You shouldn't do this. You should just go away, okay? There's actually rebellion in Bolivia. I mean, they're not wrong. We're going to small send in a small expeditionary force into the country. I would like military access through you, please, so I can help you out. We're going to send a small expeditionary force into here. Peru, would you give me military access as well? You would not accept? Okay. Once you're in my sphere, you should, you should say yes. Army professionalism, inorganic chemistry is more supply weight. Uh, what do I want? You know, let's go for an education efficiency. Will give us more research points in the long run. We are losing some money. Machine parts. Why are you so expensive? Genuinely, I don't know why we're we're spending so much money on the uh, on the subsidies here. I mean, as long as we're still making money, I'm okay with it. I'm just surprised that it's so expensive. Okay, Colombia, we're going to get you up to friendly. Ecuador is like cordial. Venezuela is a cordial as well. Paraguay, you know what? Give me a... Not with you. Paraguay, give me an improved relations. Get you up to 72. It'll give me a small bonus here. 50,000, 38,000. I'm assuming, like, none of you have really invested in anybody else. Colombia is very important to have because Colombia will eventually allow you to build the Panama Canal. So it's very nice to have them around. Okay, we also have a little bit of a homegrown rebellion. So we're going to bring you over here. We're then going to get ourselves... Let's say five. Five. And then Hussar. Just get another army going. Again, it's a, it, it does cost money to train units, and it keeps them actually on the field. But I think for the most part, it's fine. You know, it, it's it's worth it to maintain national security. Also, we have a research point bonus. Yes, absolutely get that right away. And then you will go back over here. Anybody else ready to be in my sphere? Let's take another quick gander. I don't know why America's trying to get Bolivia of all countries in their sphere of influence. Like, just go away. You don't you don't need to be here, America. You can go do your own thing. Okay, we can get you up to friendly. Fantastic. Colombia, we got you on max priority. Paraguay, I think we'll just worry about it at the end. It'll kind of be like our last priority. In America, they're neutral right now. They need to get all the way up to friendly, and then it gets to 100 points to actually overthrow us. Paraguay had a... a revolution. Okay. They lost prestige, lost plurality. They still don't really like us very much. But that's not a big deal. Okay, we're going to increase opinion of Ecuador. Welcome. Get them with the friendly as well. Colombia's almost ready to join our sphere of influence. Venezuela... Right now at 38. We get to 136. Yeah, I think I think Par or Paraguay is going to be the country we get last. I think it just makes the most amount of sense. Colombia, we're going to bring you into my sphere. Welcome. Britain is at war. Who are you at war with? You're at war with the French and the Rush. This actually is a major war. What is this war over? The Franco-Prussian War. Yes, we will... Uh, 
will give you some points. Russia is now involved in this war as well. If Germany is to win, it would get rid of Bavaria as a country, which would remove a potential threat to our position as a great power. Race relations get you up to friendly as well. The so point two. Basically, everybody right now is about point two, which, which is more uh, I'm happy with. You want to liberate Alsace Lorraine. You also want to demand Dutch Guiana from the Dutch. Germany is already immediately winning this war. The Dutch might separate peace out with the Germans. It's hard to say. Yeah, Peru will get an alliance with you. What do we do with Paraguay? I think the answer is that nothing, really. Uh, by the way, did you know Britain keeps an army of 74,000 troops in South America? I didn't know that until right now. Okay, that's good to know. Because uh, that's terrifying. I, I don't like that information at all. You guys are still not building. You still don't have Clipper Convoys. So how's migration going? Because usually when there's a big war in Europe, migration booms. Let's put more points into Colombia. Because everybody wants Colombia because everybody wants the uh, Panama Canal. Once the Panama Canal is built, you can... They, they, they will just ignore them forever for the rest of the time after that. Uh, What do we want to do? You know, in Rio, let's actually get some clerks. Do we have any clerks in the country? No, we don't. Okay. Clerks will give us more research points. They'll also make our factories more efficient. So I'm happy to have all of that going. How's Sao Paulo doing, by the way? I mean, it's looking pretty good. Factories are looking uh, pretty full. I have no money right now, but that's okay. What do I uh, What do I have to do here? How do I make more money? Again, we can increase tariffs. I'm just surprised our subsidies are so high. How does a glass factory cost $64 a day in in, in subsidies? We can build you 5,000 pounds for life rating, more immigration attraction for one year. I mean, if there's a big war going on, we'll do it. Fantastic. And how does that affect immigration? 2,000. I mean, that is looking pretty good. 2,000, I'm happy to see. Happy to see it for sure. Germany's actually getting their shit kicked in. What's going to happen with them? Because genuinely, I, I don't know what France could actually do against a losing... A losing Germany. Can they, like, force the release of the Rhineland or something? It's like, maybe, but... I couldn't quite tell you. We have two clerks here, zero clerks right here. Probably due to our. It's probably probably due to our um. Is our, our literacy rate's not high enough? So it's like well, we got a little bit here and there. That's it, it's not much. So we'll we'll keep them in Rio. Actually, that's in Sao Paulo. We'll keep it in Sao Paulo for now. For farmers, intellectuals. Actually, how, what is intellectuals looking like right now in our country? 2.4, not even on the list. 2.4, not even on the list. Okay, I want intellectuals here. And I want intellectuals here as well. Just so we can get a little bit more research. Right now, we're 1.77. If we can get it up to 2%, we get a little bit of a bonus. And I'm always happy to see a lovely little bonus. So in, our ships are now at 3.5. We are getting uh, a little bit of uh, points off this, which is nice. I'm happy to see it. And jingoism is good. So I want to. I probably want to send some units over to uh, Rue to help them out. Also, I think I think Germany surrendered. What were their terms? Demand reparations. Okay, so Germany, they're in sixth place right now. They have ten divisions. How incredibly sad. Again, you guys want Dutch Guiana. That's not going to happen at this point. Um, I mean, Bavaria is getting invaded by the French. Just be a sad day for them. 
Bro, are you in my sphere now? You are. Fantastic. Okay, Columbia's now at 100%. We'll bring you down to just one. Let's not influence Afghanistan. I'm going to tell you right now, that's not going to do too much for us. Yeah, let's get Venezuela and you guys up to snuff. Bring everybody into our sphere of influence. Oh, wait. I completely forgot about Chile. I'm sorry, Chile. I didn't mean to neglect you. I just, I just generally forgot that you were even here. Okay, so you are in my sphere. Ecuador, you guys should be ready to go in just a moment. Uh, do I have 50,000 pounds? Pay or owe? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a... Um... No, it's money. The reason we're going to be doing this... Is this cheating? A little bit, yes. However, Victoria 2 is very, very bad at owing debts. If you go even negative one pound due to an event, it immediately causes bankruptcy. I don't know why it does this, it just does. So, you kind of have to cheat in order to make sure that you don't actually like completely screw yourself over for no good reason. Okay, Venezuela, we can bring you into our sphere as well. And then after that, Paraguay. I'm going to start influencing you. Even if you don't want to be influenced, I will start influencing you. Actually, why do you even hate me so much? I mean, I know I took one core off of you at the very beginning of the game, but that was, like, so long ago. You don't even have a core on it. So, like, what's your problem? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Even then, Rexy, we're still alley with Chile, so we, our, our influence should rise pretty quickly here. By the way, did my uh, army do their... Yeah, they beat the rebels. Okay. Bring you back. Now you will just move your way up north. Come kill these units. Move your way back down south. Like, when will you guys stop having revolutions? Like, it, it, it's, it's, just, it's just a foolish thing at this point. I mean, we're still we're pretty far behind Japan right now. Okay, Romania is invading Bulgaria. You want to cut the British Empire down the size. Did the Dutch surrender? No, they did not. Bavaria surrendered. What did they take? I do not know. Okay. okay we got a research. State and government would be an extra national focus. No, give me the steel railroad. Railroads are cool. Everybody loves a good train. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, discredit both the British and the United States. They don't. They don't realize that they should just like stop trying to influence Colombia. They're firmly in my sphere of influence. Okay, both of you get the hell out of here. Okay, Chile, bring you up to cordial. Are you going up to friendly now? You are. Okay, fantastic. I mean, you're friendly, but your relations at negative 36. Don't question it too much. Italy, what are you doing? You're still in 16th place. Italy is just a... It's just a really sad country right now. Like, to the point where it's almost a little embarrassing that they're, that they're doing so poorly. Machine part factory is costing us... This machine part factory in particular... Why is it costing so much? Like, what are you not getting? Stockpile of 19, stockpile of 11. Producing steel. You get a bonus because of uh, infrastructure and due to having a steel mill. I don't feel like it should cost you this much money. I mean, you're level 3. I always want to press this button, but it, the game always says not to. Well, the thing is, like, we have a big, you know what, well, we have a big stockpile of steel. We don't actually need this much steel. We only had this steel because it's for, um, for our factories. We have a lot of steel. We have a lot of iron just sitting in our stockpile. 
mean, we could theoretically sell a bunch of it. I, I don't think that's going to benefit us too much. To be quite honest with you. And now, so the Franco-Prussian War is now the Fr Franco-British War. Britain is somehow actually winning this fight. I don't know how that's possible. Oh, Britain actually won their war against the Dutch. They actually took that territory from them. Kind of embarrassing for the Dutch to somehow lose that. I don't I don't know how you've uh how you've managed that. Now France is also trying to get Colombia. Just stay out of Colombia, okay? Like why is this so difficult for you to understand? You know what, this 33 stack, actually, I want to look at, um, uh, where is it? Supply limits. Just for right now, hunt rebels. Just for the time being. I'm going to send you along the coast to go defeat this unit and then move your way back home. Should be okay with that. We're still slowly, slowly, slowly building up these boats. Very slowly, I should, I should say. I was we're, we're 22nd in prestige. That's actually incredible. 20 22nd in prestige is so like kind of just depressing. Yeah, Chile, you love us. I mean, everybody for the most part likes us. Belgium actually surrendered as well. Did they get something out of that? Just a white piece. Okay. But I can't see, I think this war is, might just end in a, it's either going to end in a white piece or it's just going to be a war that drags on for 10 years or something like that. Those are really the two options we have between the war between the British and the French. Nothing else I think makes a ton of sense. Okay, so it looks like you guys have done a fantastic job of dealing with the rebellion up in the north. Happy to see it. Wait! It's 70... Wait, the Ottomans have been overthrown? In 1873? You're now a republic. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I wonder... How that's going to affect their other territory? Like, I don't know if there's... If, there, if it's going to be more likely that they're going to have, like, a rebellion or something like that. It's potentially possible, but I, I couldn't actually tell you. We'll have to kind of just wait and see. Paraguay, add you to my sphere, even though, again, you do absolutely despise us. And I want to take over this. We should be able to at some point. I think we'll get a decision uh, uh, to occupy that territory. 1908 or have mass politics. If I was to put all of you into, uh, into a country, we could maybe recreate... Central America, but there's no way the United States would just let us have that, unfortunately. Okay, Chile's now at 95, 96, 97. And Chile, welcome, welcome, welcome to the sphere of influence. And I think with that, if we look at South America, every single country in South America is now in the Brazilian sphere of influence. From top, from top to bottom. Brazil is in a fantastic spot. Everybody, everybody loves Brazil. But I think for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not to be close, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.